Since Labor Day is over, you might be counting down the number of times you need to mow your grass until spring. Experts say there's no better time than the present to do some fall lawn care. Here's Ashley Reynolds. Yard experts doubt September is the best time to fertilize your lawn. Grass is recovering from the hot summer rays. It's time for some TLC, which includes a shot of nitrogen to push blade growth. It's a good time of year to be fertilizing. Months that end in R are always good months to fertilize. And, and of course, around here, they recommend about um, one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet for your yard. The next thing is actually going to be aerating the yard and overseeding it. And we are in prime time for aerating and overseeding. So typically the window is about September until that second or third week in October when you can go ahead and aerate and seed the yard and have pretty good results. If you want the lush look, you might need to cut it several times before Halloween. Cut that grass tall, all right? Cutting the grass tall is so important. I think a big thing people gotta remember though is that lawns don't usually turn around overnight. It, it can take some time. Grass can mature for three to five years before it gets to full maturity sometimes. So you'll see a lot of results in the first year or two, but don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it just takes a little bit more effort. Sometimes it takes up to three weeks to see sprouts. Rake and water often stay on schedule so you get the best results. And if it's easier, just hire a pro. Get a few bids if you do that. Make sure the company is licensed and insured. Ask if workers have education or certifications. Understand how payment works. Sometimes it's due after the service or at the end of the month. Lisa. Thanks, Ashley.